Hello again, YouTubers. This is Dewey in Nashville again, showing you the uh, top compartment where the soil is going to be for the raised ir raised bed ir self irrigating planter. The raised bed self irrigating planter. So uh, let me show you this real quick, so I can get inside and get into the air conditioning. Um, here is how the finished bed looks. Now you'll notice the boards on the outside don't quite line up. Uh, I'm not a master builder and uh, some of the measurements were probably a little bit off on top of having some warped pieces of wood. Uh, so as the soil goes in there some of this will kind of even out as the soil presses against the outer of the walls. It, they won't bow in or out as much. They'll just kind of they'll be more uniform I think. So, uh, so this is how the bed's going to look. The water will come up through those net pots on the bottom. As you can see, it's filled up a little high now. I reset the uh, uh, float, and uh, once I put everything on top, and uh, the plywood kind of sank into the water a little bit, that raised the level too. So that'll even itself out. Uh, you can see over here with the PVC, I've got it coming out of the corner. Oh, focus into the shade. Get out of my shadow. I've got the PVC coming out of the corner. It is uh, not clipped because I do have it in the corner and not just on a flat side. I didn't need the clips. Once the soil goes in there, it will keep it pressed against the corner and then I can add nutrients through the soil directly to the water chamber. Um, the other amendment I did was that uh, I've got the access to the float. I don't know if you can see through the darkness down to the bottom, but uh, the float chamber is down there so I can get to it and uh, not have to we weasel myself around or worry about what level the float's at. I'm having an issue with not being able to uh, keep a clamp inside on the on the uh, barb on the float itself so um, I'm having to come up with creative ways to keep the hose attached to the float um, this is just the latest rendition of what I'm thinking I might have to do but uh, hopefully I can get to a point where I can keep that pipe on there and not have to worry too much about it sounds like it's leaking a little bit right now so uh, I'll probably have to take that off and redo it somehow so that I can keep the float clamp on full time. So uh, that's the system. And once this is filled up with soil and I find a way to keep that float on there, I'll come back and do uh, another update with the finished product. Hey guys, quick update. Uh, wanted to show you last night, uh, yesterday morning, whenever it was, the days are all running together, uh, I didn't really show you the uh, mending braces. Actually, I don't even think I put them in. I just put them in this morning. So those three-inch mending braces uh, I put on the wood, and that's one of them. I put them in the middle of each of the sides, and looking back on it now, I would probably put... Uh, two on each side. They're only like four for two dollars at Lowe's. Uh, and they've really seemed to add a lot of uh, integrity to the structure. And I did was able to, I think, solve my uh, hose popping out issue. It sounds really bad, but that's what it is. Um, I opened up the top of the hole and put a... Let's see if I can get it to focus put a clamp in there so it's holding pretty well now we'll see give it a half hour see how how well it holds and uh, come back uh, this morning I'm working on soil mixture so uh, I'll be back once this thing's filled up and we're ready to plant 